like supporting small designers, um, both on the craft and design end. We, we like to split it half and half. So um, that means we end up having a lot of handmade jewelry, art prints, we've got ceramics, bags, but we also will buy um, design objects as long as it fits in with the aesthetic of the shop. And we really do try and support a smaller designer if we are doing and we don't, not everything we um, sell is local. We have stuff mostly from San Francisco and Brooklyn, but we sell stuff from Japan and Scandinavia as well. And um, we have clothing in the back and books, stationery, bags, housewares. We have a little gallery over here to the side. We're, just, we're having an opening party tonight if anybody wants to come. Pretty bevy beverages. Um, <laughs> the alcoholic variety. Um, <laughs> And um, we change our shows every month. Um, this one just went up last night. It's a group show that we that I co-curated with Suzanne Shade of The Beholder, which is an online art gallery. Next month, Betsy Walton from Portland is having a solo show here, which is going to be really amazing if you know Betsy's work. Um, and the list goes on. We have really amazing artists booked up for the, actually the next almost two years. So, But we're always looking to sell um, handmade stuff, um, so you know, don't hesitate to let us know if you're interested in selling your wares here. And I wanted to move back to the West Coast, met up with Lisa, who is one of the artists at my Brooklyn shop, and we decided to open a bigger store together, so here we are. And I've lived in San Francisco for 18 years, so. Yay! Um, <laughs> yeah, and I left my full time job at a nonprofit. December. Well, we opened the store in October, but I was still working part time at the organization where I've been working for years. I, I worked in the nonprofit um, education sector for many years, and I'm an artist and was making art and craft on the side, and had this dream of wanting to make art and sell stuff full time. So that's what we do. Yeah.